Hi everybody. I wanted to make a quick video to tell you why I'm waging this campaign against Fairway. I live around the block from Fairway and I've been in this neighborhood for decades. And since they got taken over and went public, I'm watching our quality of life go downhill because of the various violations. This is the first sign I made to start my protest of Fairway and I'll describe what it is. When I was walking around, walking my dogs in the afternoons early this summer in July, uh, my dogs were obsessed with these bins that were uh, twice a week sitting on the sidewalk for hours in the sun uncovered. And it's raw meat and fish scraps. That's known as raw agricultural product. Um, this stuff can't be thrown out with the garbage because it's a biohazard because of E. coli and other things. So it was just sitting out on the subway, uh, on the sidewalk, absolutely uncovered for hours in the sun, stinking up, lots of flies, what have you. Now, uh, the first time I saw it, I was pretty shocked. I asked Fairway to move it. They completely ignored me and told me to pretty much go away. And then the next time I saw it, I waited around with my camera. I took some pictures and I noticed that this big truck came to dispose of this biohazardous waste. This is a biohazard truck that comes and they, um, they overhead dump these meats, these raw meats and fishes, okay? But Fairway is leaving um, produce on the sidewalk right next to the truck that's dumping it. And pieces fall off. I saw one piece uh, this summer in July that was there for a day and a half before somebody picked it up. But anyway, this is my first sign and this is the issue that made me realize that we have a health crisis, you know, perhaps blooming at Fairway. And what happened was after, you know, I had my experience with this, I called 311, which is the city's uh, information and helpline where you can, you know, get information and make complaints. And I made a complaint about this and they told me that it was the Department of Agriculture that's in charge of inspecting grocery stores. So. I spoke with this gentleman, Robert Dondorf, and I told him about the raw meat and fish, raw agricultural product as it's known, and I told him that I was really concerned because of cross-contamination with all the fruit that's in front of the store and the bins of fruit left next to it. And he actually told me that they were only concerned with cross-contamination of cooked foods. And I knew that to be wrong. So my next sign was a big four foot sign with his name and number. Um, and the result of that was they started partially covering the meat and instead of uh, dumping it on Broadway right in front of the store, this was at nine o'clock in the morning on a Monday morning, they started dumping it on the side of the store at a loading dock. But uh, it would still sit out. Now it's interesting to note that the last inspection they had from the Department of Agriculture there were actually two of those bins sitting out on the sidewalk while the Department of Agriculture was inside the store inspecting them. And they still magically passed. So anyway, um, I decided to make one bigger sign, or the same size, but that had all the violations I had seen so that I could show people how I know that Fairway is rat infested. I mean, the way that I really know that Fairway is rat infested is that I live around the block and I walk my puppy at night and there's a gazillion rats and you see them, but I don't get them on film all the time. Now, they've been using the sidewalk for storage, which is illegal. This is actually a public sidewalk. They're supposed to use their loading dock for that, but their loading dock is also used for storage. So this is used for loading and unloading, but mainly they were leaving things here for days before I started complaining. So it makes it so that the people in the neighborhood lose their sidewalk. It also makes it so that they can never, ever wash the sidewalks. And remember that piece of meat I was telling you about that fell out of the truck? There it is. That was there for a day and a half. That's actually a piece of fish. The sidewalks also get destroyed, and most people don't understand that it's actually not the city's responsibility. It's Fairway's responsibility to repair the sidewalk and the gutters. There are these big holes in the gutters where pieces of meat and fish and fruit and garbage fall, and it sits there like a sewer in front of the store. And then they roll carts through it onto the sidewalk. You see these rolly carts, they come from the street. And then they put boxes of fruit directly onto the sidewalk, which is also a violation. 
So all the fruit that you see actually is easily cross-contaminated because anything that touches that sidewalk and then goes up there, you have a risk of major E. coli infection and other things like that because of practices like this, okay? Now the other way I know that fairway is rat infested is because for a really long time, well over a year, their old elevator, freight elevator on the loading dock on 74th Street had a big hole like this, which is well big enough for rats to go inside. And you can't see inside, but there was a rat's nest in there. That was the loading dock and that piece of jagged metal sat there for a year and a half until I pointed it out. And at first they did a really half-assed job of fixing it and it you know, pretty much exposed itself again. And then they got a proper repair done. But all of these reasons are why you really shouldn't shop at Fairway and you really shouldn't trust them because they're exposing us to tremendous cross-contamination and disease. And their stock is falling apart and instead of trying to fix any of these problems, they're exploiting their workers even more by cutting their salaries. Or not salaries, they're cutting their hours. Full-time workers now are lucky if they get 28 hours. So everybody's in poverty and then when they hire new workers, they hire them at minimum wage, that's $7.25 an hour in New York City. They get $7.25 an hour before the store decides after six months whether they can be in the union or not. And their business model dictates that they let them work at minimum wage for six months and then fire them. This is the worst corporate model we've ever seen. It exploits its workers it exploits its customers, it exploits the neighborhood it's in, and everybody suffers except for the very, very top shareholders. Bad business model, not sustainable. Shame on you, Fairway Market.